What's up, agents? Jetforth here, and uh, let's talk about this big old patch notes for the PTS that they have released yesterday. Now, for me, this is a, a mixed bag of emotions, if you will, for all of this. Now, I'm sure by now all of you guys have read the patch notes, watched other videos, and whatnot, because, I, yeah... Who wouldn't if you still love and want to play this game and see it succeed? Now really, I should have made a video about this yesterday, but I didn't because I was just exhausted. Which I'm actually kind of glad that I slept on it. Finally slept. So I could take a better approach to it, I guess. A lot of the stuff that we're seeing in these PTS patch notes or whatever, you gotta remember, it's PTS patch notes. Who remembers the first initial PTS they did where they nerfed and buffed everything in the game and over the course of the three weeks that the PTS was out, all the numbers, all the values, all the everything changed to where people were making different builds and nerf safe this, nerf safe that, in which I was absolutely guilty of as well. So for this, I think everyone should take the same approach. And in all honesty, there is a lot of new talent stuff that's in here, specifically with the talent like Vigilance, what that does. As none of this is finalized, and I guarantee you this is going to change, especially when people start playing the PTS. I'm going to try and get into the PTS. I finally downloaded it, probably on like Thursday or so, because honestly, I've been really all caught up in Borderlands at the moment, trying to get leveled up and all that other stuff with that game, and possibly do some content on it. I don't know. We'll see. I see this as pretty positive, some of it. You know, it's definitely something that the game needs is actually just balancing. I like a lot of the changes that they're making, but I can picture builds out of this already. If this is how the numbers stay or whatever, which they're probably not going to stay like this, but I can already picture a few builds right now in my head that are going to be way, way overpowered again. And it's just, they need to work on actually balancing the game as opposed to whatever this is you know after this the meta is still pretty much going to be auto rifles and lmgs i i mean they should actually bring up the damage of smgs so that would be a viable thing to use but i just i don't really know what to think about all this i think all of this is happening too fast <laughs> like i said i think all of us in massive need to go see a therapist and really sit down and talk about what is going on with our relationship the reality of what they should be doing right now is the major game changes like in the state of the game with being able to target specific brand sets specific items the big changes to the recalibration station and crafting and all that positive stuff that they're putting in the game that's what they need to be concentrating on i don't think they should be trying to balance the game exactly the way that they are right now because right now the way i like i said the way that i see these numbers and new values and new stuff that they're putting in it's gonna cause more commotion when that actually drops than if they just left it alone they should have done some of the buffs to bring the useless talents up. Some of the new adjustments to talents, they should have put that in. But they shouldn't be nerfing stuff right now. Now I know that the Eagle Bearer is just the biggest controversy in this game under the face of the planet. So I'm going to keep my own personal opinion about what they did to it or doing to it with the 15% decrease out. Now... What really they should have done with that is they should have left it alone for PvE. I mean, we know that they can tune PvP and PvE separately, and the biggest commotion and the cry for the nerf of it is from the PvP side of it. And they definitely should have tuned it separately, just not an overall 15% decrease. And depending on what your weapon damage is at and what you're stacking, if you got it up to 30, like mine's at 27 point whatever, I mean, that's a 4.5 thousand damage decrease. That's a pretty hard hit. And the way that I see it with some of the talent changes and everything and how people use the Ego Bearer, is it's pretty much just going to be another ordinary weapon, really, you know. A lot of the builds that revolve around it is Unstoppable Force and or On the Ropes and stuff like that. And with those being nerfed and the Eagle Bearer being nerfed, I mean, honestly, you might be better off just using the custom P416 again, you know. So 
I think those just should have been tuned completely separately because a lot of people have put a lot of work into getting that weapon. One of the biggest challenges of that raid is actually getting a group together to get into the raid. I mean, you should get rewarded just for that, in all honesty, with the eight players and all that shenanigans. But with this now, it being dropped off like that, it does kind of make the raid pointless, really. I mean, what is what would really be the point i mean i know the new gear set stuff and whatnot is going to drop in the open world and then you can only get the backpack and the chest piece with the talent on it now but i mean i don't know it just the raid isn't going to be very rewarding anymore at all i don't think so a lot of people are dropping out even my good friend warrior i shocked me because he's like i love this game i don't care i'm always going to play it and da 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 ba -da -ba -da. And I messaged him yesterday upon the initial finding out of this whole patch thing from one of the other, uh, one of you guys messaged me on PlayStation. I was like, dude, you should uh, go take a look at this and do a video on it right now, which I showed up and he was completely right. But, but Warrior said that uh, I quit. I'm not playing anymore. You know, they nerfed down the Eagle Bearer. I don't, I don't care. I'm not, I don't want to play anymore. And I was just kind of like, oh man. And just going through the Twitter comments on the Eagle Bear nerf and the whole mixed reaction about it and this and that, it's just, I'm not surprised. And I saw a lot of other people saying, I quit, I'm done, just based off of that, even though a lot of people have already quit the game already, even on my channel, and <laughs> this game's dead, game's dead, I'm going to visit it again next year, you know, I don't know, but... With all these changes and stuff, like I was trying to say and getting off topic, is the buffs and nerfs and everything that they're doing, it should be slowly introduced into the game. Focus on all the positive things, the changing the mechanics of the game, how we get our gear, how this goes on, you know, basically just revamping the overall systems in the game is what they should concentrate on because there's already a lot there that needs to be done and is getting done but throwing all this into the mix right now it's just way 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 too much all too fast it's ba i almost said when this game releases it's basically going to be to the point when this releases in october for the tu6 and episode 2 it's going to be a completely different game than what it was before you know so it's a positive but a negative at the same time because now it's the same thing we've gone through six months and almost every other month we have to completely rebuild our builds for playing the game and that's not how a game should be you know it should have a balanced game it should already have been a balanced game and it should have gear score matter so when it is time to rebuild and whatever they increase the gear score and then we seek out newer better gear as opposed to now i have to completely rethink my entire build again again and again it's only been six months and we're on tu6 this update the way that i'm looking at it this is like tu6 tu7 and tu8 all mixed in together i mean whether or not it's a huge leap forward, um, I'm 50-50 on that. It's, um, I don't know. Like I said, the way that I see it in here with all these changes and everything, it's just, uh, it's a bit much. And there's definitely going to be some really overpowered builds coming out of it. They really need to hire somebody over there that is a builder that isn't making the game that can put builds together give them everything all the top notch and make builds and be like dude this you, this can't be like this that's what they need to do it's just like the clusters being nerfed right now and buffed at the same time in some weird way if i'm a guy who played the pts and then a couple weeks before it actually dropped was able to start putting builds together and putting them on youtube that are going to be hitting in the millions and have really fast cooldowns they should have been able to see that too but then they put this big paragraph and spiel up of this is not how we intended it to be well you put it in the game you decided this is how it's going to be and then you're going to nerf it down it's the same thing with the eagle bearer they they had to have known how powerful it was and what it can do before they released it, but they do it anyways. And then they wonder why everyone gets bummed out, quits the game, doesn't want to play anymore when they come in, swoop in, and nerf and change everything. 
I don't know what's going on over there or who's in charge, but man, they really need to, I don't know, they got to do something. So, but either way, like I said, I'm not going to go over everything in here at all. I mean, it's just, it's too much. They're going to address a lot of this in the state of the game tomorrow, which I'll probably have to make like a freaking hour video, depending on what they talk about in it. I'm sure they're going to talk about all this, all the PVP changes coming and balancing and all that. It's, I don't know. I don't know at all. Either way, I guess I'm just going to shut up because I could probably ramble for hours on this, but I'm not going to. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about all of this. i uh, very curious to uh, hear your reaction to it. I know a lot of people are, I quit, I quit, I quit. So, I don't know. For me, I'm still kind of in limbo. Like I said, I am going to jump into the PTS and see what that's all about. See, I don't know. I don't have a build in there or anything. I got to 500 so I could play PTSs and didn't stack anything else. So that should be interesting to jump back in there. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that other junk. And I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.